In this video, I'm walking you through an open concept two-story plan that has a second floor balcony that looks out to this. If you like views, you like open concept homes, then stay tuned. Now, this is the Ventura plan built by Taylor Morrison Homes. It has views all around the home, including right off of the front of the home here in this community called Treviso. Now, this home has five bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms, is over 4,200 square feet. And after walking homes with so many buyers that are built by Taylor Morrison, I find so many buyers will tell me they love the tall ceilings with Taylor Morrison, the windows everywhere, and the open concept plans that Taylor Morrison builds. And I think that's exactly why people gravitate towards the Ventura plan. Take a look at this main living area where we have the kitchen off to the right, we have this large living room with these unique shaped windows off the back wall, and we are open to the second story. Now, rest assured, we will get up to that balcony again. This home has multiple balconies and so many cool upgrades that I'm gonna show you in detail here. And we're gonna start here in the kitchen and let me introduce myself. My name is Raj Safu. I'm a realtor in Austin, Texas, and I've represented clients with 20 different builders. So I'm gonna to talk to you, I'm gonna talk through this home tour as if I'm touring it with one of my clients and tell you what I hear others saying about these types of plans. Now, what so many buyers tell me they love about kitchens is the contrast. So first off, you have light countertops. I love how you see these veins running through this large kitchen island. And those veins get pulled out by the cabinet color, which is a little bit darker and then I think the kitchen backsplash ties everything else in together with various colors in that kitchen backsplash above this five, -er, five burner stovetop going up to this cabinet, um, excuse me, vent hood, stainless steel vent hood. And then down here we do have a gr crushed granite sink. So this is usually scratch resistant and we open up right to the main living area. Now, we are gonna head over to the pantry while we're here, I wanna show that off to you. We do have a large patio that we're gonna get to. Again, the balcony's upstairs. We have a game room, media room upstairs. There is a lot to see in this plan, so stick with me here. But while we're here, I did wanna show you the pantry area, which is a good size, and I would say this is expected at this square footage. And then we do have a separate entrance into a dining room, which we're gonna get to a little bit later. I wanna keep going here in this main living area because I find so many buyers tell me they spend a lot of time in this main living area. They want it to feel very spacious and they want views. And so you're gonna see that in this home, which is for sale at 1.295 million, or better stated, a million two hundred ninety-five thousand dollars Now here we do have a fireplace, uh, take a seat here just to give you a full visual. Uh, this is staging, by the way, I would never sit here if it's somebody's couch that's actually living here. Uh, but I love this look. Uh, now we do have neighbors behind us. Keep in mind, there are trees that you can plant in your backyard. I actually have a picture of somebody's backyard in this community called Treviso that did plant trees and uh, they've been living here for about five years. So they do have a list of what you can build with the HOA, uh, sorry, what you can plant with the HOA in your backyard. Obviously it just needs to be native uh, to this part of uh, the Austin metro area, but definitely get an updated list from the HOA or reach out to me. I'd be happy to pass along that information that I get from some of the homeowners that are here, including some of my clients where I had a client close down the street from this home. They built about 5,000 square feet. I have another client who just closed a couple months ago in this community that has a beautiful second floor balcony off of their home, off the back of their home. They have an incredible view. Moving on, we are in the primary bedroom. I think that's a unique shape for a bedroom where they have the bed tucked in around the corner. Uh, they do have this bay window. I love the size of these windows. It just opens up that space really well to add a couple chairs. And then you have a tray ceiling, which is in this unique shape because of the size of this bedroom. Let me give you a look, uh, a look from this angle. And then lots of great lighting in this home that's for sale. And of course, double doors coming in 
the primary bedroom, double doors going into the primary bathroom. Now, as we enter the primary bathroom, we do have vanities on either side. And by the way, later on in the video, I will tell you what's going on here in Treviso. There's always interesting phases coming up and you never know what you're gonna get with the topography that's here. Uh, and I'll talk to you a little bit more about that later on in the video. What I wanna keep going with here is the uh, primary bathroom. I like this tile that they use that is glossy on the walls. They did a contrast on the floor with that dark hexagon tile. And then they went all the way up to the ceiling, which I think is really important, especially in a shower this size. It really provides that grand element. And again, nobody's living in here, so I'm gonna take a walk through and show you I like this window that opens up to the rest of the bathroom. Evie looks down at the tub. I've had some people love the freestanding tub. It just opens up that space more. Uh, but I do like this tile that they used here. Uh, and I, I think when you have a tile like this with that much movement, that's what a lot of home buyers are looking for. Now, light countertops and dark cabinet, fairly similar to the kitchen. And then we have a linen closet right there. We have a commode right here. And then we have a large walk-in closet right here. Now, what so many people are looking for when they're looking at these forever homes is two things. Number one, does it have the structural upgrades in the home that they want as buyers? For so many buyers, they tell me they want two story plans that are open concept and that usually means very tall ceilings lots of windows that's why i feature it quite a bit on my channel uh, but then they also want two bedrooms downstairs so they tell me that having a second bedroom downstairs is very important to them i talk about it a lot in a lot of my videos which is uh the reason for a second bedroom down is when uh, you have aging parents that you don't want going up and down the steps if you don't have that now you know hate to say this, but it is just a matter of time. I think every everybody needs to get into that planning phase uh, when that time comes. And I think for so many buyers, they want that. They want an upstairs game room. They want a media room. And they want a place that they can relax, like a second floor balcony. And you're going to see all of that in this home. Uh, and as we get back out into the main living area, we have this breakfast nook area that goes out to the patio. They have good windows here. We're right off of that kitchen which has that large island that we saw earlier. And that's exactly what we're gonna head out to next is the patio. Now, we do have neighbors here. Uh, there is a specific plant uh, that does grow fast, but I don't wanna say it publicly in case they change it. I did have a, uh, a specific community where I, I mentioned a plant that you could do because one of my homeowners did it. And then they changed it the very next year and I had to take down that video. So that's really annoying. Fortunately, I can't uh, give you that because I don't know when you're going to watch this. I can't give you exactly what they have, uh, but I can tell you, of course, the community wants you to plant trees. It adds beauty and character to the community. And I think it gives you that privacy if that's what you're looking for. I think that's great to have on a massive patio like this uh, that does look out to that bit of a view that you're going to see from that upstairs second floor balcony. I think this is why so many people are moving to Texas. It's because they want to spend time outdoors. Um, I have one of my friends visiting from Pennsylvania this month, and I grew up in Pennsylvania uh, around Philadelphia. And my friend was saying, hey, should I bring swimsuits? Our kids haven't swam in a pool in about six to seven months. And I'm posting this right now in about, uh, they're visiting in March of 2024. And Right now in March, it's like 45 degrees there. And I was telling them, we can definitely do that if they're hungry to swim, because we got the weather right now. It's hitting about 70s and 80s right now at this time of the year. Uh, and so a lot of people put poles in their backyard here. We also have a great amenity center in the community that has a pool, that has a beautiful view. It's got a soccer field in the back and volleyball courts and so many things to do. And so the community is great. And I also think this part of the home is great where we have a second bedroom downstairs uh they didn't make a room a little bit of room for the full bathroom and the closet so it does jut out but you at least get these great ceilings 
here. So this is good, very tall ceilings. And then we have an in-suite full bathroom that we're gonna see next. And while we keep going here, we are in a community called Treviso located in Leander, Texas. Leander is one of the fastest growing suburbs in the United States. And it's because of the job growth that is coming close by. Uh, Leander is close by to where they're building the new Apple campus, uh, which is in the Northwest corridor of Austin, Texas. And Leander's the suburb in the Northwest corridor of Austin. And that's why there's a lot of growth there uh, aside from Apple's campus. Yes, eBay, PayPal, Electronic Arts, very close by to Apple Campus, a separate office building. We do have two children's hospitals. Both of them just opened up, one of them in late 2023, the other one in early 2024. And we had one children's hospital uh, in East Austin, just east of downtown. Now we have three children's hospitals and the two new ones are in the Northwest corridor of Austin, Texas. So I think that kind of gives you an indication of how things are growing in this area. And from a community like this, I live actually right next to one of those children's hospitals currently. And uh, it took me about 20 minutes to get out here. And that's without traffic. With traffic, obviously we can add on a little bit more, but I think that's very doable for a lot of home buyers that are going to these big tech companies or big hospitals that are coming. Uh, and what those clients tell me that are moving here is they need to have a three car garage. And whether that's a tandem space like this, just for storage, that's fine. I think it's more preferable to have the three car bay garage, but obviously the width on these lots sometimes just does not allow for it. When it does, it's usually a fairly good upgrade to get that extra garage bay. I just had a client actually finish the design of their home in another community and they have a four car garage and that's a three car tandem uh, with a third car garage bay. So four car total. Uh, and that's where storage is important, especially for so many people moving here, custom to basements and stuff like that. Uh, we do have a utility room here. They have plumbing on the right side for a sink. And then that's for your washer and dryer. And this is typically what you get, like just a shelf and a rod and maybe a small cabinet in this utility room. Uh, and that's, that does vary based on the builder as well as based on the series that you're buying it. Now I'm gonna go the back way here into the dining room. So we're getting back to the front of the home as you see there with those two double doors as we enter. And we have a light fixture here that's provided from the builder. I have a lot of buyers that just change those out after closing, a lot of builders do not want to mess around with really nice light fixtures. They get broken during construction. Sometimes they even get stolen, even in these nice neighborhoods, because most builders do not pursue these people that are taking these things. Uh, and when they're gone, it's tough to get their hands on them. So that's why you usually see um, light fixtures like this. No, no offense to this light fixture, it's just a pretty typical standard. Uh, builder light fixture, but very easy to change out. You just want to make sure you have blocking in there, uh, which obviously that room does because that's how they're holding up that chandelier. Now, opposite of that dining room, we have a study. I think this is a good position for the study. I think it's a good size too. I like the window, uh, the glass inserts, excuse me, in this in these double doors leading to the study. It's also a good amount of lighting. I find a lot of builders on inventory homes sometimes and uh, or if they're previously purchased by a buyer and that buyer fill out a contract, people forget to put good lighting in here. And it's really annoying to go in through all that drywall uh, and, and try to do that after closing. But I find with this home, we have good windows, we have good lighting. And I think this is a good depiction on what it's like to work from home here. Now, by the way, if you don't want neighbors behind you, actually the homes across the street from me do back up to a green belt. They have a significant drop off off the back and that gives them an incredible view. In fact, there are some homes in the distance that also have that. So there are opportunities like that. Uh, it may not be on this specific home, but of course it's gonna be a difference in price. So this is listed again at 1.295 million. I don't want to speculate too much on what a view lot would go for at this square footage, but if you need help with that, reach out to me. Again, I've had multiple clients contract in this community, as well as others that have great views. 
but it is tough to battle against Treviso. Treviso has rolling hills, and it's right where the hills start along the northwest quarter of Austin. So I think it's well positioned because of its proximity to everything else in Leander, while still getting that those beautiful rolling hills. And we just saw a closet underneath the stairwell. We had a uh, powdered bathroom in that direction. We already saw the dining room, study, two bedrooms down, this main living area. And now we're gonna head upstairs. And actually, before we do, I want you to see this. It's another light fixture that we didn't see previously above the double sliding glass doors. I like that half moon window above there. It's just that unique touch that makes some of these production builders feel a little bit more custom. And I think Taylor Morrison's starting to do that on some of their plans where I don't think you can see this on a 2D floor plan, but I've walked enough of their plans to know some of the changes they're making, I think is a good sign. I like when builders do that to make these homes feel more unique rather than cookie cutter. I also think this really helps <laughs> having the windows above windows in the living room. It makes it feel so spacious as soon as you get to the top of the landing in the stairwell. And speaking of space, we have a lot going on here. We have this loft area. We have a media room over there. We got a bedroom to the right of it. I want to focus in on this game room. So that's going to lead us to this balcony. I like this game room. There's so much space for activities up here. Uh, there's no closet over there, by the way. They probably just put that inset there to run uh, HVAC below. If you care, uh, if you like the idea of hearing about construction, I I've walked enough of these homes now uh, before they put in drywall to know what's kind of behind them and how they how they do these things. But that's why that's usually there. But I think you still get a ton of room here. Obviously they have electrical up there to hang a TV. You have good windows off your back wall. And then let's take a look at this balcony. This is a massive balcony. I think you can put like a dining table up here if you really wanted to just to sit and relax. You have the rolling hills in the distance. I am recording this, as you can tell, on a very cloudy day, but I can't always time it. Uh, but it is beautiful still on this day where you can see in the distance and some of those roads. Look, look at that road beyond that person's roof there, all the way out in the distance, just circles up that hillside. There's some beautiful homes all around here. This is why I love coming out to Treviso. Like I mentioned, when they open up a new phase, you just never know what you're gonna get. Sound like Forrest Gump. And uh, you never know what you're gonna get with these balconies. So for one of my clients that closed recently, we actually did back up to neighbors, but they were a little bit below us, uh, actually more below us than this home. So you see that stone wall down there? That means the homes behind us have that stone wall built up because there is a bit of a drop off there. And we were actually perched up probably about, I think it was about 14 feet above our neighbors. And it was a lot that we felt like was not that high in price compared to the view that we were probably going to get. When I say probably, when I say a lot, it's just a piece of dirt. <laughs> There's nothing built on it. We're really just imagining what it would be like to build on there. And that's where going out, taking measurements, putting my drone up in the air, kind of where the second floor balcony would be trying to get an indication on wh what the view would be like. Looking back at those videos compared to what my client got, they're very similar and we were really excited. We think we got a good opportunity on that. And now that their home's completed, which I do have a video of, but I wanted to keep it private, um, uh, you know, I do have that. But my clients did say, you know, anybody that I want to share it with, uh, I certainly can. So if you need uh, a good look at what pricing looks like for a home with a view that is similar to this, uh, you know, a media room, game room upstairs, two bedrooms down, open concept, two-story plan. I can definitely get that to you. Now, this is going to be the media room. They do have taps on, on the sides, usually for uh, speakers. It is in a unique location, so I would have to verify that. And uh, But again, they do have good lighting. Now, what I want to point up to, and I didn't mention it before, next to the lights, which you see there, uh, those are going to be usually speakers every time. And I know that because above us is an outlet and then wiring to run down, usually all the way down there, and that would be for a projector. So the projector would project onto that wall. 
I think you got a lot of room here that you can do for furniture. Also, double doors leading in here is really nice. And this is a good enclosed space that's not open to the rest of the home here. And I think that's really important as for so many people that say, hey, I want my home to be open concept, but sometimes I don't wanna hear everybody who's in our house, especially when there's a TV on upstairs, a TV on downstairs, there's people upstairs, there's kittens playing upstairs and we're downstairs cooking, sometimes we wanna feel that privacy and that's where having an enclosed media room I think is really important. What also is not as important, but I think a lot very cool is going to be this uh, balcony that faces off the front of the home. Now I'm gonna awkwardly exit this balcony because there is a couple uh, working in their front yard and I wanna keep them, keep that private. But I want to show you this view because I think this is incredible. This is what I showed you pretty early on in the video, that view that's here right off of this street, which is goes up this hill. And as you can tell, you get these beautiful views, not just right off the front balcony, off the back balcony, but actually in one of the bedrooms, which is what I'm going to show you here soon, has an incredible view. So whoever's staying in that bedroom upstairs, has is very lucky they have an incredible view right from their bedroom now there are three bedrooms upstairs so this is going to be one of them and then there is a full bathroom accessible from the hallway so if there are guests over who need to use a bathroom upstairs they could come here and then also whoever's staying in that bedroom they get a little bit more privacy not much around them other than this like loft area and uh they also can use this bathroom which has this really cool hex on the floor don't see that too often it usually comes with a little bit more of a price tag rather than your typical like rectangular towel i thought that was a really cool touch if i'm not opening up some of these closet doors they're usually just linen closets for the most part uh and then i, I should mention it as soon as we get out to this main living area i love that you can just see out into the distance my camera is not really doing it that much justice, but you can see a hillside in the back. And I think you continue to catch that as you walk around this home. And I, I, I love that. Okay, we are gonna keep going here. We got a couple bedrooms on this side. One of them that has an amazing view, and that's exactly where I'm going to start. Now, while we look through this and I show you this view, I wanted to talk about what's happening here in Treviso. And to know what's happening in Treviso now, it's important to get a, a brief history, which is very simple. This was one of the first neighborhoods to do bidding because so many people were trying to get in this neighborhood. It's because they toured homes, even on a cloudy day like this, it's so beautiful just driving around here. And I think people were genuinely shocked at the beauty that was here in the Austin metro area. And at that time, the pricing, you could get forever homes, which, you know, I, I don't wanna give a price range exactly here, but it was low, it's much lower than where we're at right now, like the rest of the country. But I think it was always poised for growth because as people were looking to work from home, they didn't need to commute downtown. Also, a lot of tech companies stopped getting built around downtown. They started getting built in North Austin, uh, Northwest Austin, like I mentioned, Apple previously, and a lot of growth came up here. This became a very good community to live in. Uh, and again, it's that combination of views, like this is a view right from the bathtub, which is incredible. Granted, yes, I am getting a roof. You do have a neighbor. But look at that view. That's incredible. And to get that on a forever home that is relatively close by, to all these tech companies, that was, that was just a very good marketable position to be in. And that's when this uh, community just took off. And now the beauty of this is instead of bidding and bidding very high a lot, like a six figure amount, instead of rushing to get your bid in and then you have to make a decision within like an hour or within a day, or whether you're gonna buy or not and follow through, that was really difficult to do, and that was not a fun market to be in. Uh, it was very competitive, and for a lot of people that were overbidding too, I ended up getting very stuck in this expensive house, and that, that's really tough place to be in. And now, and my point in sharing that with you, is we just don't have to do that. Uh, there are uh, options, there's new phases coming, 
there's new places to build and there are lots like this that have these opportunities where you can try to do balconies everywhere right off your spare bedroom like this uh, which is incredible or right off the back of your home and so many different plans that you can choose from and in terms of timing i think you just need to be prepared i don't want to say you can just wait when a new phase opens up and you want a view lot you want one of the best lots that are there it's not a game of we can just wait around and you're good it's it's a game of you need to be prepared to know what plan you want what some of your options look like and you have to be able to narrow things down because those view lots are usually the ones to sell the fastest. Now, if you're not as particular on the lot, you don't really care as much about the plan, well, then that's okay. You can probably take your time in a phase that's coming up here. Uh, but I think, again, if you want like a really good plan that's very popular, chances are there's other people that are looking at it. Uh, and that's where preparation is important. And I say all that because there is a new phase that is coming up here in Treviso. And if you want open concepts like concept homes like this that are open to the second story in the living room, have these grand entrances and have these kitchens that look like this with these big kitchen islands and movement in the countertop like behind me, then reach out to me. My number's at the bottom of the description of this video. I'd be happy to prepare you for the upcoming phases that are coming up here in this community. Maybe some other communities that you don't know about that have great terrain have good topography and great views off some of the back of these lots. Now, if you want more homes for sale, that's gonna be on my website. It's at the top of the description of this video. I do keep some of my videos exclusive on my website and don't publish them anywhere. So if you want the best pricing information, go there to understand what your options look like. Now, if you wanna see another home for sale with Taylor Morrison, go ahead and click right here. And as always, I hope this helps. Take care, everybody.